Hey guys, it's Sim Rover today. I have an awesome, awesome thing in store for us today. And I've mentioned it in my previous videos and it has come time. We got ourselves a one four five star accessory ticket that we will do last. And second to last, we will do the three star or above accessory ticket, which is a long name. And then we'll do the Brave Soul accessory tickets and starting out, we are doing 1,000 accessory, premium accessory tickets. So, I'm just over the moon about this. I can't believe I've saved up so many. And if you've ever wondered, what can you get from doing 1,000 premium accessory tickets? Well, look at that. We get a four star right off. Second multi, we already got a four star only on the second multi guys you know what this means it means i'm gonna have so many accessory tickets to level up or not so many accessory tickets i'm gonna have so many accessories to get rid of after all this because i only have a, like a limit of what <laughs> whoa guys we're only like the, the fifth multi in fifth or sixth multi in Good lord, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've only done four multis, and we already got two four stars. That, my friend, is a good, good, good sign. Whoa! Whoa! Hello, 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 guys. What is going on? I promise you, I have not rigged the game. I have not rigged the game. Gosh, three guys, this luck within less than a hundred accessory. Okay, what the crap is going on? What the crap is going on? How many was that? That was five, four stars. We guys, we haven't even finished. The first hundred. We have three more multis to do before we finish the first hundred. Whoa. This is why I'm 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 I might be pushing the envelope here. But I'm gonna say we're gonna get, we're gonna get one gold accessory. That's my prediction. I really hope so, because what would really complete one of my builds right now is if I got a blue Yuki, gold Yuki, if I got a blue one. Um, I already have a, uh, a Yuki, gold Yuki for the orange, um, for purple, I think, yeah, I already have a, a golden purple Yuki. Um, I don't have one for red. And I, ugh, I don't have a gold anything for red. So if I got any reds, that would be good. Um, purples, I think I have a gold Yuki and Chappie already. I know I already have the golden Pupples and Chappie for green. But, woo, guys, nerd band. I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright, we're almost 200 accessory tickets into this. Almost 200. And we've already gotten like six. I'm going to lose count because we're doing a thousand accessory tickets. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go insane. <laughs> this is crazy. So we've already gotten like six or seven four-star accessories from this. So, honestly, I'd say the luck with the accessory tickets is way better than the summons tickets. Because cause the game wants to be stingy when it comes to... Okay. 
come on internet don't die on me that would suck if that happened during all this okay but honestly guys I know this game is stingy when it comes to five star characters and even when you do get them more than likely if you're a, a more seasoned player like me more likely than not you ain't gonna get a new character and when you do it's something to celebrate about but when you don't I mean you just learn to roll with the punches and if you don't know roll with the punches means it means whenever you get punched in the gut and you get a duplicate character suck it up keep moving on accept it happen keep going save up spirit orbs keep going save up tickets keep going just don't let that defeat you time and time I've seen my friends play this game and I say time and time again my friends there's only one friend at work currently who he's not playing it anymore but um, I showed him the game because he is a fan of Bleach the show and so I showed him and essentially he stopped because he he was afraid he couldn't control his impulse to buy you know to, pro to progress in that game and I'm guilty as charged I'm not gonna act like I'm a perfect human being no I've spent money on this have I spent more than I should have at certain times yes um, but you know forgive and forget uh, some viewers may get irritated because they want you to be raw, uh, uh, n natural, um, just doing it from pure, natural achievement, not from using money. Because people frown on it when you spend money. And I can get that, but a lot of the YouTubers you watch, they're not going to admit to this, like I am. Now, I don't spend loads and loads of money on this game, don't get me wrong, but I have gotten those packs, and as you can see, I'll use Cass and Dom as an example. They do spend money on that game, no doubt about it. They have different accounts, you know, they have several different accounts going, but they get donations, they, they, they get money from YouTube, right? So, for me, I'm not getting any money from YouTube. This is raw, um, my own money. And I'm sure they spend their own money, too. But, in any case, they spend money. Um, Tor Crunch has spent money more than he needs to. Uh, I say that because, I, I mean, I've seen his videos. And his, his girlfriend, or whoever that friend was in his video, didn't like how he kept spending money. And every time he did, I cringed because I was like boy you need to listen to what she's saying you need to stop you know but yeah because it's a form of gambling if you if you haven't seen the most recent news uh where it said in some european country i forgot the name of it albania it wasn't albania but uh in that other country they have banned the buying of excessive buying of the packs in this game because they have acknowledged it as a form of gambling because you can keep buying but you're not going to get what you're going to want to get you know it rips you off basically just like gambling and that makes sense and, you know, even gambling is a sin. It's something that you shouldn't be doing. Um, so that's why, because of the past spending phase I went through during the time of Nelio and Hikon, um, that has inspired me to save up spirit orbs even more so than in the past. To overcompensate for... Oh, wow, guys, we're almost... We're already halfway through more than halfway through wow 771 accessories that's insane but yeah that inspired me to save up spirit orbs so I'm overly prepared 
and so I have higher chances of getting who I want. So, I'm preaching to the choir, you know, okay, just, just putting it out there. But anywho, there's a game I played recently that came out, oh no! Wait, I can't summon anymore? There's a limit? There's a limit? Wait, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So when you're 500 accessory tickets above your limit, which almost pretty much will never happen, um, it forces you to lower the amount of accessories you have. Okay. But the game was called um, Something Something Edith Finch. It was how it ended with Edith Finch. Or, no, oh, okay, it was What Remains of Edith Finch. And that was what it was. And essentially, you're playing through the eyes of Edith Finch, and she grew up in a gigantic house. And her family is followed by a curse of death, uh, where things happen, and they go crazy, or they something happens, something kills them. And uh, as you're playing through the game as Edith in the future, she'll be going through the house, and you're controlling her. It's a walking simulator kind of thing, and uh, she'll read the stories of. The, the characters in the, um, the, of the characters the, the, from the family. Um, and then it, it'll flash back and you'll be controlling the family members. And it's kind of tragic, honestly. Um, the music makes it so you don't feel like crying as much. But, no, these are really tragic stories. Like, one guy was working in a cannery factory, which is where you cut the heads off of fish. Uh, you know, it's a very repetitive process. And um, he had been working at this cannery, and he started imagining things. And his performance level was as high as ever, but he was imagining a world where he, were, a world where he was the king. And he... Uh, had his own band and followers and whatever, and um, it grew so much so to the point where he wouldn't leave the cannery factory, even when his mother, when his mother came to the factory, to to um, tell him you need to come home, and he wouldn't come home, and so he stayed there, continuing to cut the fish while at the same time imagining a whole world where he is becoming the emperor, conquering countries and nations and then he becomes the king and the prince needs to put a crown on him and so you walk up to the, the this, you know everyone's cheering and there are bright colors and glass uh, glass paned windows and it's beautiful and people are happy and excited for you but you get up to the, the spot where the prince is going to put the crown on and it says all you need to do is put down your head and where you see that you're about to put your head down, it's a guillotine. And you realize, this is not a happy moment. What this character is about to do is he's about to kill himself and put his head down on the cannery fish head cutting thing and kill himself. And that was... I just couldn't believe that. That was so messed up. All right, let's see if we can continue with the summoning.